Is Dungeon Defenders Awakened worth playing? Let's find out after we read the description. Dungeon Defenders Awakened is a co-op tower defense combined with epic action RPG combat. You're able to join forces with up to four players to take on a never-ending army of orcs, demons, and dragons. Are your defenses strong enough to save the world of Etheria? In Dungeon Defenders, you'll be defending crystals, placing defenses and traps to kill and slow down your enemies. Each hero has their own weapon, defenses and abilities. Each hero also has its own strengths, weaknesses and purpose in the battle. As you level up, you get better gear, more defenses, abilities, and skill points to spend. I felt the weapons themselves though, they didn't really have much impact and they just didn't feel good to use and the weapons that you use to kill the enemies, it just didn't even feel good to kill enemies with the weapons. I, I mean, that's one of the core parts of your character is their weapon and when it doesn't feel good to use the weapon, that's not good. The abilities are not even as good or as fun as the ones in Dungeon Defenders 2 and the game unless played on the highest difficulty possible is a breeze and unless you play on that highest difficulty and play on hardcore mode you're going to be just absolutely just flying through the levels without any challenge at all. Also unless you play this game with friends and on the highest difficulty this game is kind of boring and not that much fun. The graphics, on the other hand, are a definite improvement over the first and the second game, but the animations could use improvements as sometimes the animations look like they're stuttering or they just don't look right. I don't know what's wrong with the animations, to be honest, but sometimes on the goblins or orcs, whatever you call them, they're, they're the, like the little green guys. I call them goblins. Uh, they just, their legs when moving, they just don't look right. The story is the same as the first game, the younger kin of the heroes unleashed an ancient force that they now had to defeat and defend the Eternia Crystals. That is pretty much the, the story, nothing special. You're probably not going to focus on the story too much in this game as this game is mostly on the gameplay. I wouldn't recommend this game as the first game in my opinion. Not only does it feel better to play the original Dungeon Defenders, the original game actually has more heroes to play as. The original also has split screen co-op which this one says that it would have but they removed it because they couldn't get it working properly so now it doesn't have split screen co-op. and. To be honest, I don't think this game actually does anything better than the original Dungeon Defenders except for maybe the graphics, but of course the graphics are going to be better. There's like a 9 to 10 year difference. Also, since this game is $30 with less content, slow updates, it's also still in early access. Overall, this game is just very lackluster, boring, and the only thing it does better than the other D Dungeon Defenders game is the graphics. But of course, it's always gameplay over graphics, so if you want a good Dungeon Defenders game, get the original Dungeon Defenders. That game is so much better than this one. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below, tell me what you guys think about this game and what you think about this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.